Today I'm going to show you how you can remove some blemishes. So if you're a YouTube creator, maybe this is something you'd like to see. I don't know. There's a cool tool inside of uh, Lumetri Within, and that's in both uh, Premiere and After Effects. And it's the HSL Secondary Correction Tool. And the HSL, it's, it's really what it's intended for is after you've done primary coloring, uh, it allows you to fine tune and select specific colors that you want to modify or tweak. So if you've got blemishes or discoloration, uh, this might be a tool for you. Uh, it's also used in cases where people want to selectively pick out something and make it really pop. So there's a lot of different uses, but we're going to use it today to show you how you can do some really basic color correction on... Um, you know your own face so if you're a YouTube creator this might be up if you're a video blogger this might be right up your alley I don't know so we're gonna jump right in to uh, Premiere so here we are in Premiere I've already kind of uploaded some footage and this is of me from the other day and uh, you know it's it's springtime allergies are going crazy my eyes are all jacked up and uh, didn't look so good for the video you know I just like yeah maybe I need to fix that People think I got in a fist fight and someone popped me in the eyes. So, so uh, this is actually a really easy fix. So all you got to do is you go over here to your effects. I've already done it. You type your Lumetri, uh, get your Lumetri plugin or uh, effect. And we're gonna make sure you select the video. On I've got it on track one, and it's gonna it's basically gonna affect wherever the playhead is as long as you've got that selected. That's where it's going to affect, because now we can see over here on my left, and I'll pull this over just a little bit so you guys can see this, but we've got our, our uh, effects control for that particular sequence. So I'm going to grab this guy here, I'm going to drag it over there, and now we've got our Lumetri plugin, and right out the gate, you can look at this video, and you can see that there's some things that are just aren't ideal, right? Uh, first, I've got good lighting on my right side, and that's because I've got, uh, I've got, I've got a, um, I keep calling them diffusers, but they're called skibs, 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 I don't know, squibs, don't care. I got, I got some light diffused over here on my right side, and that's, that's kind of filling in. Otherwise, all the light would be coming from the left side from, uh, I have a window and I've got another key light over here on the left side and the monitor itself is lighting the, the my left side of the face so that's giving me some blue on the left it's giving me some some uh, yellows and oranges on the right and we got to kind of clean that up because the overall feel is cold and so over here I've got my Lumetri scopes which is showing me how much blue is in this shot and uh, the range throughout the image now what makes this interesting is is we go from no light light to no light in this but we're gonna we're gonna do the correction based on the fact that there's light hitting it and we want it to be right there so we're gonna do our basic color correction I'm just gonna do that real quick because that's not what this video is about so uh, if you don't like my color correction eh, do your own no biggie grab the footage knock yourself out go video yourself so I'm just gonna warm up the shot just a little by just generally raising the temperature of the image as you can see it affected you know if I if I Bring it down you can see how much it brought the blues down in my uh in my scope here in my histogram so i'm gonna set that to 20 and then i'm gonna go in here and take a really good look because i'm really concerned about where how my allergies are affected you know with the eyes here so we're gonna pull this over oh, not that one we're gonna pull this guy over just a little we're gonna nobody really wants to see yourself that close it's like, ah, it's like, that's not what I think I look like. But, all right. So down here, HSL stands for Hue, Saturation, and Lightness. And this is like, you're going to fine tune your color grade by very specifically grabbing uh, specific colors. So I've got a lot of these, it's kind of almost purplish colors that are going around my eyes because of my allergies here. So I'm going to set my color. Oops not reset it, set it. Now I'm gonna grab, I'm really trying to grab this. And what it's gonna do, it's gonna create a mask. Uh, so if I click to show the mask, it's gonna show you wherever that color was that I just selected, you know. Now I can adjust the range of the color, the range, and you can see 
you know, I can see where the mask is covering. I don't want to get the, the eyes. I want to avoid the eyes, you know, the actual pupils and uh, the iris and everything. Because, you know, then it starts changing the color of my eyes. I don't want to do that. But I definitely want to make sure that we're, we're accounting for all of this stuff as best we can. So I've adjusted my hue. I've adjusted my saturation. I can bring my saturation down if I want, but I really just want to catch as much of this on my eyes as I can. Okay, and then I'm going to move on to the next step. So I've still got my mask on, and uh, you can uh, you can do this a lot of different ways. You know, I personally uh, I don't mind the white to black because that really does kind of make it stand out a little more. You see more of a range for me. Um, you can denoise this, which is going to actually, if you'll see, it kind of breaks it down, removes some of the excess stuff. But I, I don't really want to denoise it too much. So I'm going to say, let's, let's, let's go to 30 on that. And then blur. Now, if you take blur too much, it goes completely out of whack and it's not, not going to do any good. It's not going to give me any desired effect. Since I've selected the color, I definitely, I just want it to blend in with the skin tone around it. Um, but uh, you can always come back to that. It's your personal preference. And then I'm going to turn off the mask because now I need to, I need to, there's a couple ways you can do this. I'm going to turn off the mask and now I'm going to play with my colors. Now I can click here and I can move this up and down and you can see how it's changing. If I go to extremes, you can, you can see right here, well, this is where the mask is. So I'm identifying these colors, but I need to find like a skin tone that's going to work for me. And you can do this, you know, and, and it looks like I missed some of that area down there. But the other thing you can do is you see, I'm, I'm gonna lighten this up. And then I'm gonna bring my temperature up 20 degrees. Actually, I might take it back. Let's just take it back down. And then what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna move until I find a good skin tone that I like that's gonna match. It's going to work for me. It's going to take some of that color out of there. And it looks like kind of missed. Now you can add to your overall mask. All you got to do is see, because I've got this little area right here where it's not, it's not grabbing that. So I want to kind of add to my mask. So I'm going to select the add eyedropper. I'm going to grab a little bit of that. You see, and it, it's filled in some more. So I'm going to add a little more. Let's go here. Now it filled in the rest of it. Um, let's, let's just go with that. Let's not play with it any more than I already have. And let's see if I can find a good tone that's going to kind of like not be so obvious that I did this correction. So I'm kind of finding something down here. In, in this area. Now, here's another note. If you want to, uh, you want to play with the three, three uh, color wheels separately, you can do your shadows and your mid ranges and your highlights. You can do that too. Uh, for the sake of this demo, I'm just using the single color wheel. Uh, so it's moving all of them. Now I can bring my lighting down. I can take it up and soften it up. And then I can take my blur to maybe a five. And at that point, that looks pretty close to uh, blended, you know? I can denoise it a little bit more. I've got my temperature good. And for a rough cut, that's not bad. So there's an easy way that you can easily take and remove. You, you do a color grade, you're doing your color correction, and then you come in and you fine tune it because you really wanna just focus in on the areas that are really standing out and once you do that it's going to follow those colors now once it changes it's it's going to change the uh the saturation the, probably the uh the lightness of those those ranges but when that light's on you can tell it it's there all right and you can't tell that i have this problem right there on my eyes see how they go from light to dark you can tone that down, you can desaturate it, you can play with it. So that's a quick step on how you can 
take care of some blemishes in your face real quick and easy with Premiere and or After Effects depends on how you're doing it if you're in a, like I said if you're a YouTube creator and you're editing into Premiere this is a great tool uh, if you know a better way to do this put in the comments below let us know I'm very interested in learning all the different ways that we can do do these kind of tricks and and make them work better so I hope this was good for you if you liked it be sure to hit that subscribe button click that bell so you can find out when we get new updates and then definitely come back for more we'll see you next time all right